Hey folks, this is Rich with California Public Land Hunter. Just before the video gets started, I just wanted to let you know that if you look in the description box of this video, you'll find all the pertaining links. You'll find a link to the Dixie Glen Equestrian Campground, uh, referenced in both Google Maps so you can get your directions, and Google Earth so you could do a terrain search. I also have Mendocino National Forest, their homepage, listed in the description box. I'd also like to take a quick moment to thank a couple of contributors to the channel. Stacy R and William B, they contributed to the channel. I just wanted to say thanks. I really appreciate it. Your contributions go a long way. So here's the video the Dixie Glen Equestrian Campground and the Augustus McRae. Enjoy. Stony Ford stop is the last chance to get gas or diesel before you head up into Mendocino on M10. Heading towards uh, the Stony Ford OHV recreational area and up above there is Let's Lake with a few campgrounds. I'm not sure where I'm going to stay at, but uh, I'm staying at one of them. Now for you hunters, this road that I'm on, M10, is the border between A zone and B3. So everything to the south of this road is A zone, and everything to the north of this road is B3. So if you hunt both those tags, you can technically kind of come in, hunt this side of A zone during the A zone season, and scout B3 at the same time. You might want to think about that. So there is the Stony Ford OHV area. There's five different campgrounds that run along Stony Creek. Everything from Davis Campground, uh, Cedar Campground. I've never really camped down in there. I'm gonna check it out on this trip and go through the campgrounds and check them out. Uh, back in that, in the very back, that back valley back there, I got a stock on a buck last year. Uh, I was on one of the videos if you wanna check that out. But back there is also some good uh, small game hunting. Should be dropping their horns pretty soon. There they go. Oh, there's another one. Dang, there goes more. <laughs> it's about eight, nine, nine total. It does this time of year, grouping up. The bigger bucks have isolated themselves and they'll be dropping their horns soon. Good deal, lots of deer, lots of deer. So I went and I loaded up the back of the van with a bunch of wood up here in Mendocino with all the fires, the forest service or whoever's contracted to do it comes and thins out the stuff. 
and they leave a lot of wood on the side of the road near campgrounds. So I got the wood I need. So now I'm on my way to the Dixie Glade campground. Let me try to get a load of this one. It's an equestrian campground, but uh, you don't need a horse to stay. <laughs> but I'm gonna go. It's my first time camping here. They've had it shut down for the last three years, three at least, at least three or four years. They've had it shut down, but now it's reopened. And uh, I can't wait to get there. Check it out. camp set up this is my fan my new van it's a chevy 1990 g30 diesel extended got the rack on top uh, i just bought it a month and a half ago and i just figured out <laughs> where i wanted to put the bed i'm going to be doing the sides in uh stained wood i'm going to put some racks in here and uh a table with a dresser kind of right here for clothing then just really do the inside into a camper van and uh, so let's go check out camp. Come out by the van. Got my fishing stuff here. I'm not really gonna be fishing. Got my ice chest. Got a lot of good stuff in there. Hinges busted. Two years ago, I was at Ice House Reservoir and a bear came into my camp and slapped the top of my ice chest off. Here, I got my hunting gear. Got my bow and other equipment. My range finder, got it all out just in case. Got it all out just in case a rabbit runs by. This is where I might be cooking, either here or down there where the fire pit. Let me camp. Uh, this is a sort of camping equipment. There's a blind. I got my hammock in here. I got an old tent that I'm actually going to get rid of, cutting boards. Just uh, utensils and general. I always keep a bin full of dry goods. Pretty basic camp. Right there. The Augustus McRae. This is her maiden voyage. And man, I bought that van. It's a 1990 and 81,000 original miles, not a dent on it. The whole backside was stripped out like you saw and just ready for a rebuild. But it literally took me a month and a half to figure out which way I wanted the bed to face. Cause I just don't want to rush into a rebuild and then decide, no, I should have had it done like this. I should have had this cabinets here and this, this cookware here, you know? I'm going to go camping in it a number of times before the rebuild actually gets finished. But I'm going to equip it with a generator solar, get a kayak back up on the top, and uh, it's going to be repainted forestry green, that, that really nice uh, deep green. 
and the bumper and the rack and the, and the fender or the, yeah the bumpers and the rack are going to be painted black but uh yeah man i got this whole campsite to myself stay here a couple days and see if i can't get me some small game for the stew pot Looking good, I'm cooking it slow. Bacon it cooks down, I'm gonna throw a big old steak in there. Have that, I'm gonna have the bacon with the pe peppers and onions, or peppers and potatoes, with uh, some cut cheese, some uh, saw bread. You're watching the Bacon Channel. Just love the grease that it makes. Those little bubbles of joy. Ready for Big Papa. A little bit of a splash, not bad. <laughs> yeah, buddy. It's a beast. this seared on both sides this, this bohemian I'm not gonna do it an injustice by adding a little bit of water to this and putting on a lid I'm still gonna get it down to a medium rare but uh, I'm not gonna burn it so put a little bit of water in here get some steam action hit it with the lid turn down the heat and you let it do its thing now I got the fire going and a few drinks. I got some cheese. It's going to be a good evening. Oh, look at that. That's a beautiful thing. That's a beautiful thing. When it goes down, I'm going to cut that steak up into strips and have it with the stuff and some cheese and some soft bread and all the good. rested enough let's cut into this bed dog that's a nice medium rare nice and fatty oh <laughs> this is the good stuff here man it's just a chuck steak it's gonna be me and this fire and this steak tonight man that roast was outstanding. The cheese is good. It's all good, man. Out in a beautiful location. No cell service. You know, God is good. If I were to die tonight, I'd say, okay. I'd be happy. How about you? <laughs> <laughs>